Hello friends, this video on probability part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. A game consists of tossing one rupee coin three times and then noting each outcome. Hanif wins if all the tosses get the same result, that is three heads or three tails and loses otherwise. Find the probability that he loses the game. So we have head and tail of the and this is tossed three times. So, so let's suppose in the first time you got, let me draw here, head and tail. This is the first time. Then the second time also you may get head and tail. Here also you may get head and tail. Third time also you may get head, you may get tail. You may get head, you may get tail. You may get head, you may get tail. Here also you may get head and you may get tail. Correct. First time you may get head and tail. First this is first. Second time you again and third time also. This is the flow we have. First time head tail, then head tail, head tail, head tail, head tail, head tail. So this guy wins only if he get three consecutive head that is this possible chain or three consecutive tail that is this. So if I jot down all the possible values what I get is he may get head 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 this is the first chain or he may get head head tail the second chain or this is my gate head tail head third chain or head tail tail fourth chain or from tail tail head head or tail head tail tail head tail or tail tail head tail tail head or tail 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 so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there are 8 outcomes and out of this only in case of these two he will win. Correct? So probability of win is nothing but favorable event by a favorable outcome by total outcome. So what is the favorable outcome? I am talking about win, so he will win in two scenarios. Two. In total scenario are 8, that is 1 by 4. So probability of winning is 1 by 4. The question says probability of losing. So probability of loss is nothing but 1 minus probability of win. Correct? Because probability of loss is nothing but probability of win dash. This becomes 1 minus 1 by 4, that is 3 by 4. So probability of Hanif losing the game is 3 by 4. Correct, very simple. Just understand this. If you understand this tree structure, the problem is simple. You got this set that the total number of outcome is these values. Out of this, these two are the probability of winning and others are probability of losing. A die is thrown twice. What is the probability that 5 will not come either time and 5 will come at least when you throw a dry, first time you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, any of this. And second time also you will get same number. So if you want to find the total uh, set, there are 36 elements actually you will get. 6 into 6. 6 into 6. There are 36 outcomes. So that means total outcome is nothing but, outcome is nothing but 36 outcomes. Question is asking, 5 will come up either time 5 will come at at least one time. So let's find or let's write all the outcomes where you get 5. So let's suppose 5 is in the first time only. So you get 5 1, 5 2, 5 3, 5 4, 5 5, 5 6. All possible case where 5 came in the first time. Second is where the 5 came the second time. So with 1 you get 5, with 2 you got 5, with 3 you got 5, with 4 you got 5, you 5 with got 5 and with 6 you got 5. This is common so I can cancel this because this is already covered here. So they are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 6, 11 possible outcome where you have 5. Correct. The question says 5 come either time means at least it should come, 5 should come at least one time. 5 should not come at this one time. So first we will find 5 should come one time and then we will find a complement. So 
5 come 1 time here also same thing favorable outcome by total outcome what is the favorable outcome 5 comes at least 1 times the 11 outcomes we can see where 5 came at least 1 1 or more and total is 36 we know so this is the outcome for 5 came at least 1 times the question says 5 does not come at least 1 time so that means 5 come 1 time complement this is what the question is asking for this becomes 1 minus 5 come 1 time that is 1 minus 11 by 36 and that comes out to be 25 by 36 is the probability of 5 not coming either time then the, the second question says that 5 will come at least once this is what we have solved correct 5 come at least one that is 5 came one or more times that is 11 here and total outcome is 36 11 by 36 is my answer so let me write here once again 5 come at least once is nothing but favorable outcome by total outcome what is the favorable outcome 11, 5 come at least once is 11 and 30, 16. So that is my answer. Please note here, this, this is 50 part here, 55 are twice, so ignore it. Don't write it twice, else you will get different answers. The only thing is we wrote down all the values, all the possible outcome where we had 5. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.